hello friends welcome to all the next uh, in last lecture we have studied a uh, lip spring or types of lip spring then uh, we have started our lecture with the coil spring okay the uh, second type of spring that is coil spring in uh, coil spring we have to see that uh, coil spring are used in suspension system okay so uh, in uh, coil spring little to no internal damping right low cost compact size used in many suspension types coil spring is the common most most common type of spring found on modern vehicles okay then in this suspension system we have to see that coil uh, spring wire heated and wound into coil insulated pads used between frame and spring right ends of coils are shaped to fit application right so uh, in this suspension system the coil spring are used so in this coil spring are used there are different types of coil spring ends are using in this suspension system right so in this suspension uh, coil spring ends there are a tapered end tangential end and pigtail right these are the coil spring ends then in this coil spring suspension system or coil coil spring system you have to see that a simple uh, coil spring are used uh, compressed with the help of mountings right so upper control arm lower control arm right they are bolted in this upper control arm and lower control arm right so with the help of this coil spring are compressed right with the help of upper wall uh, sorry upper wall joint and lower wall joint right the your your coil spring is compressed right in this stabilizer assembly also used then lower wall assembly are used for the compressing your uh, coil spring okay then in this uh, coil spring suspension system the first sub type in coil spring that is macpherson strut suspension right in this macpherson strut suspension system we have to see that a simple uh, shock absorber and spring are used with the help of this uh, your macpherson uh, strut suspension are used in this diagram we have to see that a uh, steering wheel right uh, sorry a uh, wheel are connected right with the help of this Uh, upper upper arm and lower arm right that uh, that arm will be connected your uh, macpherson strut suspension system right that uh, macpherson strut uh, assembly right with the help of uh, spring then uh, final spring lower insulated then front spring upper insulated right upper insulated and lower insulated are used for the compressing your spring right then uh, strut mount strut mount are used for the uh, totally your uh, coil spring are uh, compressed right with the help of this strut mount and the nuts are uh, tighten okay then macpherson strut the most widely used front suspension system in car j macpherson strut suspension system is the maximally mostly uh, widely used of the front suspension system made कार्स मधे ओके कंप्रेस ऑफ ए स्ट्रट टाइप स्प्रिंग एंड शॉक अब्जर्वर कॉम्बो विच पीवोट्स ऑन ए बॉल जॉइंट ऑन द सिंगल लोअर आर्म राइट देन द स्टीयरिंग गियर इज आयदर कनेक्टेड डायरेक्टली टू द लोअर शॉक एब्जर्वर हाउसिंग और टू एन आर्म फ्रॉम द फ्रंट और बैक ऑफ द स्पिंडल ओके when you steer it physically twist the strut and shock absorber housing to turn the wheel okay then a uh, simple construction uh, in working the top of the strut is bolted to a reinforced section of the frame structure okay we have to see this in this diagram right the strut the lower end of the strut is attached to the steering knuckle the lower end of the uh, control arm right is connected to your steering knuckle okay the 
control arm is also attached to the steering knuckle means that uh, arm lower end arm are connected to your steering knuckle also the control arm are mounted on a cradle section of the frame okay an anti roll bar links the two control arms together to reduce sway okay so that is simple macpherson strut suspension then next the next type of suspension in this torsion bar right a torsion bar is a spring which is long rebound hardened steel bar similar to coil spring except for a straight bar right in this torsion bar these these are also a spring right this coil spring is a, sorry this torsion bar is similar to the coil spring except for a straight bar okay that is one end is fixed to the torsion bar right and other uh, other end is free to move for the controlling right then uh, we have to see that a diagram or a picture simple torsion bar are connected your lower lower end uh, lower control arm right or the simple uh, uh, kingpin arm uh, controller right so one end is attached to the lower control arm of the front suspension and the other end to the frame right frame la tumcha connected asto dusra end when the wheel hits a bump a bar twist and then untwists right when the bumps are uh, in your uh, hit the wheels right that time your bar will be twist and untwist right one end is fixed so that's why the other end is will be twisted okay then as uh, with all automotive spring spring action is controlled by the shock absorber right unlike other types of spring torsion bars may be adjustable for correct ride height right you have to see that a simple uh, connections in your torsion bar then the next type of spring is air and gas spring right we have to see that uh, a diagram that is simple a rubber uh, <coughs> rubber type of spring okay in this rubber type of spring uh, gas springs are used okay uh rubber cylinder filled with air right this cylinder rubber cylinder filled with air air pressure in the rubber cylinder gives the unit of spring action special rubber compounds are used so the air spring can operate properly in cold weather also right when jabo uh, cold weather asel tya ves ka asto ki rubber ka hota thoda sa कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हो जाए अपने रबर कंपाउंड घया लगता कि जे कोल्ड वेदर मधे पूज होते देन दिस इज अ सीम्पल टाइप ऑफ एयर एंड गैस रबर टाइप ऑफ स्प्रिंग सो वी यू हेव टू सी दिस इन दिस डायग्राम अ सीम्पल एयर और गैस टाइप ऑफ स्प्रिंग आर यूज विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस रबर सिलेंडर right are used in your suspension system filled with the air or gas right then simple hydro gas suspension known as a hydro pneumatic suspension the difference is in the displacer unit itself in the older system fluid was used in the displacer unit with a rubber spring cushion built in right with hydro gas the rubber spring is removed completely okay in this hydro gas suspension the rubber spring is removed completely the fluid still exist but above the fluid there is now a separating membrane or diaphragm and above that is a cylinder or spear which is charged with nitrogen gas okay the nitrogen section is that is what has become the spring and damping unit while the fluid is still free to run from the front to the rear units and backs right so that is simple hydro gas suspension system then next our last type of uh, spring is rubber spring in this rubber spring rubber or an elastomers 
is a material which has completely 100% extension and it will return to its original length when the load is removed right uh, <coughs> rubber or an elasto mers material is used in this uh, rubber spring right so that material is very useful right java load remove hoto or java load remove hoto tyavesh to tacha original position la par deto right rubber spring have high energy absorbing capacity right rubber spring have high energy absorbing capacity high damping property hence they are used for resilient mounting in application requiring vibration isolation right rubber spring are very cost effective as a compared to coil spring rubber spring have ability to resist oil chemical heat dust air corrosion etc right why uh, rubber is used for that reason that is the ability to resist oil chemical heat dust and corrosion etc maximum deflection of this spring is 35% this spring have high buckling resistance as the deflection of this spring is large the free length is approximately half of the coil spring this springs have high buckling resistance okay then in this you have to see that a uh, simple rubber spring are used in the suspension system right so there are these are the simple uh types of coil spring okay so that is the end of our lecture next time we have started a other lecture with the uh, air suspension system or pneumatic system or hydraulic system